Okay. And hello. So, Anyo Hatsumiyo. And so, my name, I'm Tomoko Sakai from National Institute of Science and Technology Policy, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports Science, and Technology in Japan. And I'm grateful to be here at OHBM 2024 for this wonderful seminar. And today I talked about my neuroimaging story. It's about the you know, development of neurointegrative eco platform for knowledge based brain imaging across primate species. And okay. And go how to go. Which, okay, ah, okay, touch, okay. Okay, so I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself. For the past 18 years, I've focused on brain research using MRI. Especially, I focus on how the human brain has evolved and in the development. In the last nine years, I have been working on creating the data-based of non-human primates brain imaging using high-field MRI. And, and this year, I began to my research field of the science of the science. In this area, I'm currently a senior research fellow at the NSTEP in uh, MX in Japan. And, and so today I, I'll be sharing two main topics with you. First, I talked about my past research, and next, I introduced an you know, all integrated egg platform project. Let's begin. And let's take a moment to look at you know, these paintings you know, by girls and girls, you know, where do where we come from, what are we, where are we going? It's a piece that has made many people think deeply about life, but as fears and you know, science are still trying to answer a you know, big question, it asks, asks about our experience and you know, intelligence. Recently, we also had a you know, focus on the pressing issue of brain disorders such as you know, autism, spectral autism, schizophrenia, and you know, Alzheimer's disease. What are the mechanism of the you know, brain disorders? Understanding you know, that mechanism is key to developing better trans trans treatment and you know, intervention. But to <laughs> Okay. And in human evolution, human brain size has increased you know, dramatically since the appearance of genius homo since two million years ago. And human brain size has increased you know, dramatically since the appearance of the genius homo. From the perspective of the genetics, the difference between the chimpanzee and the human at the DNA levels is just 1.23 persons. This means that the weird 98.77 persons similar to chimpanzees. So chimpanzees are all closest to living relative to on this planet. They are spirits from a common ancestor about you know, six million years ago. So with you know, chimpanzee data, it is not possible to make inter inferences about human brain specialization. However, we have very limited information about brain development of chimpanzee. To clarify the you know, human brain specialization, we have to address this work of the information and obtain empirical evidence about the remarkable enlargement of the human brain. In Japan, we track the developmental trajectory in growing chimpanzees from fetal stage to the puberty stage by combining the using MRI and ultrasounding imaging. First, I will explain comparative neuroimaging of the cerebral development. 
This study is by an uh, in the interdisciplinary team at the uh, Kyoto University of uh, Detail from uh, 2000 to 2012 with uh, longitudinal studies on young chimpanzees. We use uh, their point to test MRI scanner to track the uh, developmental trajectory of the uh, cerebral cortex in young chimpanzee. This figure shows an ontogenetic series of the whole brain in chimpanzees. The top images are anatomical T1 image weighted images. The bottom image are the result of the semi-automatic segmentation processing on the computer. And here, oh. so can I, can I use your, So could you tell me how to take the you know, I would like to show the you know, movie. Okay, oh, sorry. And and sorry, I cannot okay, okay. And first I would like to talk about the you know, comparative neuroimaging of the you know, cerebral development. We found that you know, this Remarkable enlargement of the human brain is attributed to a rapid increase in cerebral white matter volume during the infancy. And, and I also investigated the prefrontal development of young chimpanzees. As you know, the prefrontal region mediates many cognitive functions such as you know, working memory, temporal inter integration, motivation, decision making, self awareness, creativity, uh, and, on. and in neuroscience and in, uh, anthropology, m many scientists are interested in, in this region. However, compared to the MRI study, have not reached its consistency as to whether the you know, profound white matter enlargement is to evolution or specialization of human. It remains in the controversial. And so I compared I compare the you know, prefrontal developmental trajectory of the you know, chimpanzee with that of a you know, human and the you know, X in this talk. I would like to show you the you know, main results. This this graph shows an you know, age-related change in the proportion of white matter volume with an you know, adult volume. And so from you know, this result, we find that the you know, chimpanzee and the humans share an you know, immature prefrontal white matter volume during the early infancy. However, the prefrontal white matter volume in chimpanzee developing at along the slower trajectory compared with human infants. Human infants exhibit a more dynamic change in white matter volume in the prefrontal portion during the infancy. The finding of this study was introduced by the Eurek Arad from the AAS of the Science of the Journal. And next, I would like to show the comparative neuroimaging of the fetal brain development. I will discuss gestational ranks in the primates. Human gestational ranks is slightly longer than in great apes. For example, the human gestational ranks is around 38 weeks. The chimpanzee gestational ranks is around 34 weeks. Human brain volume is already three times larger than great apes at birth. It has been suggested that the brain enlargement in human is due to unique future in the brain development during both the primordial and the postnatal period. So we performed a longitudinal study of chimpanzee fetal brain development using 3D ultrasounding imaging. We looked for the empirical evidence for the remarkable enlargement of the human brain during the fetal period. And 
So this graph shows the you know, gestational age related to change in the brain growth velocity. And that's the result demonstrated that you know, the remarkable environment of the human brain already begin from the 60 weeks of the gestation. Brain growth in the human fetus contribute to accelerate until around you know, 32 weeks of the gestation. This result demonstrated that the you know, maintenance of the you know, first development of the you know, human brain during interuterine inter life. Thus, we suggested that you know, this contribute to the remarkable brain enlargement observed in human. Next, I would like to talk about you know, our eco platform knowledge driven brain imaging across much multiple primate species. And advanced in medical imaging technology, big data and AI are enabling us to live in our understanding of human structure and function. Through the sharing and the utilization of the brain imaging data, we are uncovering the mechanism and Finding the brain disorders and advancing the development of diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. In the session of the non-human primate medical experiment in EU and in the USA has led to a shortage of non-human primate brain missing data. And in Japan, so we have an in excellent research environment, but Japan is expected is needed to play an important role in the sharing of brain imaging data. Data sharing requires an adherence to a fair principle, which advocated for the creation of data repository and the sharing guidance. So exploring the you know, data necessary compliance with the you know, security trade control and the you know, personal information protection rules. Moreover, heading primate data requires careful consideration of research ethics and animal welfare principles. So primary is an international consortium for sharing non-human primate brain imaging data. To address it, this issue, the primate data exchanges and enhance sharing non-human primate neural imaging data. There will be strength in fair competition, in competition of comparative neural imaging studies. So, as the purpose of the establishment is follows. The primate D aims to promote the broad scope of collaboration research on the structure, function, and the development of human and non-human primate brains by sharing the brain imaging data. There is no need to preserve the digital information about the brains of most species primates, including the endangered species for comparative neuroimaging. So the Japan Monkey Center, JMC, in Japan has more than 2,000 samples from the more than 100 species. Veterinarians have been collecting the brain sample from the primate that have died naturally at the JMFC since 1915. The correction of the primate brain is the largest in the world. There are a number of animal welfare considerations for captive common human primates at the JMFC. We can identify Oh, sorry, I can, I can, I can show you, I cannot show you the moving, so sorry. And then I would like to go next. So we have a success, 
Firstly, in the new imaging high-resolution anatomical feature across the multiple primate species using 9.4 Tesla MRI. So, and the components of the primate brain sample imaging repository are as follows. In addition to the brain imaging data, the metadata includes the species of information such as the white list status, gestures on field, lifespan, and etc. And the individual information such as the sex, age, at least, and body. And that's all native to weighted and DTI images. And there are currently 28 individuals from the 20 species available for, for collaborated research. And this is a summary of the James Primate Brain Imaging Repository. First, this repository allows us to visual harboring connection using ultra high field MRI. Second, the repository allows us to explore the diversity of the primate brain with the world's largest collection of the primate brain sample. Thirdly, we promote the internationally in the original use policy for exports and ethics use of primate brain images in this repository. Finally, we have supported the Cox creation of the international interdisciplinary research in the repository. We involve the research for the field, including the biology, medic, medicine, physics, engineering, and the computational science from more than 10 overseas institutions. And, and this repository contributes to the understanding of human brain properties and the mechanism of the psychiatric and the neurobiological disorders. Through this X system, diverse research and many researchers and the developers will be able to access the neural imaging data and the metadata in the integrated manner across the country and the disciplines. Thank you so much. And, and thank you so much for many, many research collaborators. And thank you so much for listening. This talks come somehow neither. Thank you.